Hello and welcome back to the Radical Removan. So, in this episode, we need to do some more conquering. We have money now, we just raided Plock down here. And, to be honest, they're a little bit beat up already. So it could be a good one to attack. Now let's just have a quick look here. He has 500 uh, men of his own, and then his vassal has zero men. So this one seems like a really easy one. So who are we actually attacking? Mazovia. Okay. Uh, we could do a conquest, I suppose. Now people have been saying, and I have seen it, that perhaps instead of choosing this one, I should have chosen the uh, subjugate everyone in Lithuania option. I can see that logic, and I think that's right. But this one seems more appropriate towards our goals for the series, which is why I went for it. Yeah, it would have probably been better to go for the other one. I accept that, but whatever. Uh, also, we could probably complete this one if we build a temple. How much does it cost? 400. Hmm. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We cannot afford it. Okay. But yeah, we could take Plock, which we just siege, so it'd be easy. We also has his, have his wife as a concubine and his child in our dungeons. So the other option is we go there, we try and capture his son, kill his or we get rid of his son somehow, we marry somebody to his daughter, and then... Yeah, that goes. Can we arrange a betrothal here? Or do he have to... He probably has to agree to it, right? Yeah, he still has to agree to it, so... Yeah, that's not really going to work. Anyway, let's uh, think about what we want to do here. We could always... I was just thinking about another option here. We could... Wait till his child comes of age. Make his child our concubine. Kill off his son somehow. That, and then have a child with his child, which would then mean that our son would be his heir, and then kill him. That's, that's, a poss that's, that's not a ridiculous possibility. If we have his wife imprisoned, he's not getting any more children, right? What's his succession law? Agnatic Gamble Kind Elective. The only issue with that would be that it wouldn't be his son that would be our heir. Yeah, unless, of course, we elected him, his son as our heir. Hmm. Yeah, there's a way of making that work, but I think it's overly complicated given we can just conquest it. And given that Plock is one of our holy sites, I think. Wait, is it? No. Why was it showing up like... Oh, it's one of his holy sites. Oh, yes, because he's got the uh, Slavic religion. Okay. Hmm. But we could definitely take Plock, and that puts us next to one of our holy sites, and it gives us land that we directly control, which is actually pretty good in terms of making us stronger. We could also go for an attack north, and we have the ability—we must have the ability to do, do a vassalization against one of these ones. Ah, no, they're both uh, duke level, so we can't vassalize them, and we actually don't even have a conquest against them because they're—I'm assuming it's because they're the same religion as us. We could use a border dispute, though. Loses us prestige, and everyone in our religious group dislikes us for it. Hmm. Okay. But it would get us very close to where we need to go here. Okay. There's definitely options. I think we take the free attack on Plock. I think that seems like the most obvious one to go for. And we just keep his um, children and his child and his wife imprisoned while we do that. Okay, let's uh, see how this goes. To raise up our men, we are going to call in Pomerania to this one. And merge up. Should be nice and simple. Uh, he has answered our call to war. Lovely. Did my uh, vassals answer? Oh, we didn't call them, I guess. Oh, that's fine. Okay, merge up. Make sure we have leaders. I thought that was a little symbol there, but that's just a shirt. That's why I was a little confused there. Right, and we'll just attack directly into them. If they want to fight us, we'll fight them. Perfect. We can threaten vassals out of factions. We don't have any vassals in factions, so that's okay. Right. Uh, continue the fight. Perfect. That's the end of them. We only lost 32 men. We're going to head into Plock and speed it up a little bit here. Perhaps I should use my extensive military knowledge to impress High Chief Barnum into liking me more. Well, I don't really need him to like me more, but you know what? I will talk strategy with them. 
My uh, dissertation on military matters was very uh, appreciated, it seems. High Chief Barnum thanked me for sharing my knowledge with him, remarking that he will treasure what he has learned from me. How could he not? Exactly. Uh, but also, at the same time, we don't need to sway him any longer. He's our ally. Right. And now we'll just siege it down. Yep. It wasn't until several weeks after the banquet I heard about it and wondered why I was not invited. Aren't High Chief uh, Bezprizdem and I friends? Yeah, why didn't you invite me to your banquet? We can say not anymore, just break up the friendship. You know what? We need to talk. Yeah. I thought we were BFFs, as it said there, but I guess we're not. Oh, he's willing to surrender. We'll take it. That's fine. We've now taken plot. Uh, we can give away the temple holding, which we're not allowed to hold, so that seems like a very sensible thing. Create a new vassal there, but we'll keep the top holding. Which is burned down, but that's okay. It's currently making zero, but again, that's fine. Wait, we're not hostile to them, are we? No. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we could always get some money back for these ones. Uh, we could also just uh, make his wife our concubine, which would... No, it doesn't get us any prestige because she's uh, not... I thought you got it if they were of a noble house, which she is. Maybe there's other conditions. I don't know. I thought you got prestige for that. Might do it anyway. But I don't know. Or we could just keep her imprisoned. Also doesn't bother me. Uh, let's take her as a concubine. That's fine. Uh, and then we'll just leave his daughter in our prison. Or we could actually get some money back for it. We get 46 gold there. Um, Yeah, let's get 46 gold. That's okay. Yeah, bit of a ransom. Uh, we could also then go raid his capital and then get her back again. That sounds like an interesting idea. Yeah, raise up the men. Walk to the edge. Loot. And then go to their new capital, which is actually further away. But that's okay. We'll siege this one down as well. Right. Nice. Head over the straight to their capital. Uh, Stoic Nua was captured in battle, is now my prisoner. Oh, definitely. We're going to sacrifice them, whoever this guy is. That seems great. We also captured Maslaw, who we're going to sacrifice. That is fantastic. And then we'll siege the capital. My marshals discovered a man of great military talent named... Vermantus, who is willing to serve in my ranks. I gotta say, he def he definitely looks like a man of great military talents. You know? He looks fantastic. Excellent. We'll have him. Right. Uh, now, that means that we need to change our commanders up. We can replace the 8 with a 20. Which definitely improves things a little bit. That means we can have our second be a 20. Fantastic. There's a rumor about an artist in the vicinity that creates the most magnificent landscape paintings with features of human nature. Hmm. No, I don't need a painting. Yeah, we, we don't care about paintings unless they're, you know, drawn in blood or something. Looks like we didn't actually capture any uh, prisoners, which is fine because I think the only reason we captured them last time is we, um, what was it? Uh, we had the mission, which meant that we were more likely to. I think that's what we had. Anyway. Defeat his army again, and we'll just back out. Uh, when's our truce? Oh, dis dismiss our men. When's the truce? Truce is... Oh, are we rivals? Oh, I guess uh, taking his wife as our concubine makes us rivals. Who imprisoned... Wait, we imprisoned his second wife? Yeah, we did. I didn't even realize we just captured his new wife. Well, obviously, we'll... Oh, wait, are we only allowed to have two concubines? Um... Where do we find that? That's here? That says we can have three. Oh, we already have three concubines. We have Rose. Oh, yeah. Well, we could just keep her in our prisons. Or we could ransom her back. Or we could just kill her. You know, we could just kill her. But how much do we get for a ransom? 10 gold. I'm, I'm tempted to kill her, but we, you know, we're not quite at the sacrificing stage yet. We'll just uh, ransom her for 10 gold. Right. We're looking pretty good on the money front now. 
Nice. Um, do we want to maybe attack someone? I kind of want a good reason to attack. But that's fine. Uh, I'm seeing if anyone nearby we have a good reason to attack. We have a load of conquests we could do here. Yeah. Okay. But he is much stronger than we are. Although if we got our vassals in, we could potentially equal them slightly. Yeah, our vassals got thousands. That vassal I don't think we can call in. Yeah, he's just a shaman. I think those are just troops we can raise. And then this one has... So we do have more if we could actually raise up all of our troops. But I don't think they're going to come and join us. So, yeah, we shouldn't count on them. We actually look like we have a mount that we're going to raise up to. Let's just have a look here. Uh, levy reinforcement rate is down for 20 years, so it's going to take a while before that becomes useful. We could just go raid. We could raid this guy who's next to us. There's no reason not to, really. Uh, yeah, let's raise our troops and then go raid. That might be our best move while we're waiting. So let's go raid the border a little bit. Uh, anything else that we need to be doing? Not really. We could summon a warrior lodge commander, but there's no real reason to do that either because we actually have good commanders now. So, yeah, we're kind of okay. Oh, we could do warrior training on ourselves, I guess. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I thought the, um, yeah, I, I'm just reading that again. The power reaver. Yeah, I was completely wrong earlier. Yeah, I said that it was because of the mission we had. No, it's because I knew it was because of the society. It's because of the uh, reaver power we have that we can have a greater ca chance of capturing enemies. So I guess that did, yeah, that did work as well. When did we level up? Uh, we just need to get the Renown. Oh, okay, perfectly. Perfect. Uh, Grievously Scarred actually gives us a little bit more towards that. That's cool. Right. Now let's go in here and start sieging it down. Defensive pack of opposing this person has been disbanded. Uh, they are raising troops, so I'm a little worried that they're going to come fight us. I might run away if they appear in the province next to us. Uh, rumors are rumors are that Great Spalls are waiting behind the walls of the Chervan tribe, waiting to be conquered by a daring raider with enough grit and ambition. I assume I need to say nothing more. Oh, you don't have to say anything, no. We need a new court chaplain, or diviner as it says there. So we could have Elder Gedre do it. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. And we'll get her to build some zeal in Memel. Uh, have we got all the loot there? We have, so... Uh, yeah, I want to run. <laughs> as much as I want to uh, fight, I also want to run. Like this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where do, where's the good loot? Oh, we can righteously imprison uh, Matilda. What's she doing? Why can we righteously imprison her? She's acted unfavorably towards us. She's an adulteress. Oh, definitely. Imprison her and... I think execute her seems like the most obvious answer. We burned her at the stake. Okay. Wait, was she the mother of any of our children? Uh. Oh yeah, she was the mother of uh, Lema. Okay. Oh, for a second there, I was looking at opinion. I thought it said that uh, she was one-eyed. No, it's us that's one-eyed. Well, obviously. Right. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where we need to attack. Oh, is it down this one? It's this one, isn't it? Shervin. Yeah, yeah, it's Shervin. Down there. Perfect. Well, we'll head down there. How strong are these people? I didn't even notice them previously. Um, they don't look that strong. Yeah, we should be fine to attack Shervin. Right. Uh, where's our 20? Yeah, he should always be leading. Let's go loot. Yeah, it looks like we can siege it. Perfect. They are raising up troops, but there's nothing they can do against us, so that's fine. My diviner, uh, Gudry, tells me that her efforts at increasing religious fervor among the people have been met with great success. A small army of zealots has converged at Memel Tribe, ready to serve me. Now I simply need to attack some suitable infidels before my new recruits wander off in disgust. I believe it's a year, if I remember what the other one is. A legend. Oh, wow. Yeah, there we go. There's the other one. Uh, he's got troops that need to go somewhere within a year. Well, we need to declare a war after we take Shervan. The rumors were true. The hold of the Shervan tribe was filled with treasure. Uh, so we got renowned and gold. We got renowned and gold. And did we get any prisoners? No. 
That's fine, we'll head back. Expand, and we have an extra 600 troops for a war. We should just do it. All right, what kind of... I'm just seeing what we have here. We have a conquest we could do down here. We could take that one, or we could take Shervin, which would then get us a border with Galich here. Which is okay, I guess. Yeah, we could move our way down. I think the more people we have borders with, the better, actually, for us right now, which is unusual. So we'll, we'll take the situation when we got it. Call in my... Uh, I'm obviously going to call in my nomadic vassals and my allies. That's fine. Raise our troops. Uh, merge those ones up there. Uh, do I still have the looter tag on one of them? That's the usual reason why you can't merge up armies. Oh, no, I just had uh, three armies selected. There we go. That's fine. Um, we'll move down this way. And we'll just go and attack them. But yeah, it's unusual that you want to have a lot of borders. Because usually a lot of borders means that people can attack you. But because we're relatively strong, having a lot of borders is pretty good right now. Because it means there's more people for us to attack. Uh... Yadir has been complaining for some time now about how nobody listens to her anymore and that we should all show more respect and bear more attention to an esteemed elder of Skavla, or Skalva. In truth, I believe she just feels lonely. So I can say, I'll make sure you're not neglected. I know exactly what you need. Uh, we can get her married. Okay. Maybe something I can do to make you feel better. Or wait, she's still alive? Um, You know what? I know exactly what you need. I'm. You can marry Vermantis. Exactly. Perfect. Works out well for everyone. My wife is pregnant. Excellent. 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 Right. Oh, we have three flanks now. Although we are missing a commander for some reason. Um. Oh, we just have a commander slot open. Well, obviously that should be one of our commanders. Why are we missing another one? No. Ah, my spy master is a commander. That's not something we should have. Yeah, now we should have every. Oh, no, steward is also a commander. Yeah, there we go. So now we have nobody with another job as a commander. Perfect. Oh, that's good. Why is our 17 not a commander? What happened to him? He was previously a marshal. What? Like, yeah, why isn't he a commander? Did he die? Um, hmm. I have no idea where a 17 went. Maybe I'm crazy. Whatever. Right, let's head down this way. I'm absolutely okay to attack into them. We have three flanks, and they are dead. Perfect. We'll head into the one that we just sieged down. Need a new commander. Uh, we actually don't have any available, so I am going to get a lodge commander. I cost 300 renown. Now, I need to level up. Uh, I'm just going to get a basic commander. That's fine. We'll spend a gold and prestige. Um, Carl Jotus. Uh, or Carl Jotus. Uh, yeah, sounds good. He's got brilliant personal combat. Yeah, I'll make him a commander. Uh, more specifically, I'll make him a commander of this army. Right. Back in. Oh, we defeated another army there. And we'll assault that down. That was great. Keep going. Um, we didn't capture any more prisoners, but that's fine. Sieging their capital. Uh, we cannot lead. Uh, we cannot um, assault because we're not the leader, but that's okay. We captured some people. 100% war score. And we will enforce our demands. Lovely. It's another province for us. Um, yeah. That's absolutely fine. There's nothing we need to give away. We just have that province. Uh, why might they pass from our realm? Because they might pass into this guy's realm. Oh, wait, yeah, because they, they're each other's heir. So we need that guy to die first. Can I duel him? No. But not an impossible thought. Right, let's disband. And we can rank up in our society. Of course I'm going to do that. Get that rank up going. An arm wrestling challenge. Spirits are high at the lodge tonight, and I'm itching for a challenge. Many important warriors have gathered in the large hall to celebrate a recent hunt, giving me no shortage of capable warriors to test my strength with. Um, well, obviously, I'll uh, pick the strongest I can find, which is Elder uh, Gidminias. 
Yet Minius and I sit in front of one, un, uh, sit one in front of the other, preparing ourselves for the game. We put our arms on the table, while a third fighter holds our fists still. The crowd around us chants in a disjointed countdown and cheers as we start pushing against each other. Hmm. Okay. Slowly but surely, get um. Gediminus is gaining ground. Inch by inch, he is pushing my fist closer and closer towards the table. I am starting to lose breath. My face is red, covered in sweat, yet I cannot manage to push back against his grip. I might simply not be strong enough to win this match. I can sneakily uh, slide my elbow. I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to say I must try anyway. A loud thud. Gediminus... Uh, slams my fist against the table, earning a shower of cheers from the other warriors gathered around us. As if defeating me wasn't enough, he started mocking me openly. I will challenge him to a duel. We cannot have our honor dis uh, besmirched like this. And we have been given permission to advance to a veteran level at the same time. So what do we get a veteran? We can inspire warriors. Enable you to right-click on a holding in order to instantly refill its garrison. Oh, that is really good. Enables a decision in the Intrigue menu to sacrifice wealth and blood to the divine patrons of the lodge in exchange for prowess in battle. Okay. Then Baltic holds. Enables right-clicking on a holding for remover rulers to request help from the warrior lodge to fortify their castle and tribal holdings. So we can just go, like for this one, we can go right click, inspire warriors, we spend 150 renown, and we could just make it have a full uh, garrison. Okay, interesting. Now it, says ga it said garrison, but this one appears to be implying it's levy as well. Yeah, okay, that's huge, that is actually amazingly huge, That that, that is, yeah, late game, that would just be... Yeah, that would just be insane. Okay, and then this one. Uh, use the resources and experience of the Shervan tribe to improve the fortifications of the province. It doesn't really say what it does, but same renown cost. Okay, interesting. And we still we have um, a Ulita here who we've captured. Um, I think we're going to ransom her back. That's alright. We'll ransom her back. We could always educate her with our religion and then send her back, but nah, that's fine. Elder Gedi Minas has chosen to accept your challenge to personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few days. Okay. Let's fight. I'm swinging my weapon wildly when suddenly Gedi Minas uh, shrieks in pain. Dropping my spear, I'm struck. I'm stuck seeing. I'm stuck staring at the mess I've made. It seems I've managed to tear a severe gas across his leg. So I can say, I walk away victorious, winning the duel, or I will show no mercy. You know what? We will not be mocked. I will show no mercy. We have now killed him. That's another one for our uh, growing kill list. We also got a new hat and a spear when we uh, ranked up. Our kill list is getting a little um, high, but okay, that's fine. Six is pretty good, I'd say so far. And with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.